Over the past three weeks, I've been working with a local community in Derby get a crack team of experts. We've had to make changes to Herschel's plans to keep everyone safe, but we've remained true to his principles. So far, we built a supporting structure. Ding there. Now, we just have the small matter of making the actual telescope. In Herschel's telescope, right at the bottom of the tube was a piece of lovingly polished metal to reflect the light from the stars. It was shaped and positioned to focus the light towards the top of the tube. And here, Herschel would have stood on this viewing platform and stared down the barrel through an eyepiece. So this is our telescope tube, and we're going to put a mirror up this far end. So light comes down the tube, hits the mirror, bounces back up the tube, and then all the way up to the top into this special adjustment that we've made. We've had to cut a portion of the tube out where the eyepiece is going to go, and hopefully we'll see some stunning views of the sky through it. Do you want us to push? Do not too much because I'm in the middle of it. Now we just need to get it up into the cradle. And engineer Chris Hill is on hand to supervise. That's it. Oh, what's that? Yes. 290 millimetres. That's planned. It's finally starting to look like a telescope. <laughs> Meanwhile, inside the university workshop, Chris is putting the final touches to the mount for the mirror. And instrumentation expert Dr. David Brooks is here with a missing piece. Chris, it's arrived. Finally, the mirror has arrived. We're using a modern glass mirror in our telescope. Oh, wow. Herschel would have used a piece of metal, and that would have easily tarnished. Even though he polished it for hours, it still wouldn't have been very reflective. I only had 63% reflectivity. Right. This, this has got over 99% reflectivity. So Herschel would have been blown away by this, probably. That's, yeah, <laughs> this, this would have been his yeah. Christmases. Yeah. The mount for the mirror has a set of screws on the back so that the angle of the mirror can be adjusted. Now we can collimate the telescope and align the mirror so the light from the stars is reflected through the eyepiece. Should we try and put it in then? Let's try it. I think the time has come, hasn't it? Yeah. Have you got the screws? I've got the pots. Just do ours, mate. Back a bit, back a bit, back a bit. There. Don't move. The first step is to cover the opening with a large sheet of paper. For the next bit, Herschel would have probably used a candle, but we're going to use a laser pointer. The light travels through a small hole in the paper, down the tube and hits the mirror at the bottom. It's then reflected back at an angle to hit the paper again. Now I need to guide Chris to adjust the mirror until the reflected laser light moves into position where the eyepiece will be. Chris, if you can tilt the bottom yeah. towards me, so bring that out a bit away from you. So it... Yes. Gotcha. OK, can you see it moving? Yes. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa. Spot on. How's, how's that looking to you, Dad? That looks perfect to me. That looks excellent. Yeah, that's perfect, mate. Well done. Cool. So this laser beam is actually simulating starlight, and it's bouncing back out of the tube, which is where I need to look. Now, you can see if I spray this where the beam is coming out of the tube, just where it needs to be, which shows to me that the telescope is nicely collimated, so we're ready for some clear skies. Well, after all that work, the time has...